Hi guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about episode three of season two of And Just Like That. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. So, here's my review for episode three of season two of and just like that. It was nice to see Carrie's neighbor Lisette again and it was really sweet when she told Carrie that Carrie was the only person she cared about coming to her pop-up jewelry show. I also felt really sorry for Seema when someone stole her bag. It was good that she wasn't hurt, but it was understandable why she was upset about it. It was funny when Charlotte and Lisa found out that a student at their kid's school created a MILF list and they wanted to find it to see if they were on it. I also felt really sorry for Carrie when she was recording the audiobook for her book and got to chapter three, which was about Big's death, which was understandably hard for her. So it was good that they decided to skip chapter three and go back to it another time. It was nice that Miranda was helping Che go through their lines, but it was also understandable why Che was upset since the show was supposed to be about them and it isn't anymore. So it was sweet to see Miranda comfort them. I also liked seeing Naya film for Lisa's documentary, and I was also happy for Naya when the sound guy Brian wanted to go out with her. It was also funny how excited Lisa and Charlotte were when they found out they were numbers two and three on the MILF list. It was really sweet seeing Bitsy be supportive when Carrie told her that she fell apart recording the chapter about Big's death. Even though Bitsy is pretty eccentric, she really is a good friend. But I understood why Carrie decided that she couldn't continue to record the audiobook. But it was funny that the excuse that she used to say that she couldn't do it anymore was that she had tested positive for COVID. And it was also pretty funny how Miranda, Charlotte, Seema, and Anthony reacted to that 
since they believed that Carrie really had COVID. I felt really sorry for Brady when he called Miranda and told her that Louisa broke up with him and that he wanted to talk to Miranda, but because of issues with Miranda's new phone, she never heard it ring. When Miranda was pretending that she didn't have a phone when she was going into the taping for Che's show, I had a feeling that it was going to ring during the filming since Miranda told Brady to call her back when he got to the hostel. And it did. I understood why Che was upset about the filming being interrupted, but Miranda had to focus on Brady, so it was a good idea that she flew back to New York to be with him. And it was really emotional seeing Miranda hug Brady while he was crying. But it was really nice to see her be there for her son. I felt really sorry for Lisette when a cater waiter was stealing the jewelry from her pop-up show. And when the cater waiter told Carrie to give him her Carrie necklace, I was worried. But luckily, Seema took out a fake gun that was really a lighter, and the cater waiter left. It was nice to see Carrie be there for Lisette since she was understandably upset that her jewelry was stolen. I was also really happy for Seema when she found her bag that was stolen and I was also really happy for Carrie when she was finally able to record chapter three. It was also pretty funny when Carrie said in her narration that she ended up actually getting COVID after her and Seema hung out with men who were visiting from Sydney, Australia. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw the episode, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to see any of my previous and just like that reviews, check out the playlist. And if you want to see any of my future and just like that reviews or any of my other future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.